welcome to EMAT 2411 YouTube channel. Make sure to like this video and subscribe. And um, we got I got some backstage fallout from WWE, the TLC pay-per-view that just happened and aired last night on the WWE Network. Uh, unhappiness with the show and there's talent. There was actually a talent meeting held today at Raw. I got the full backstage details, the story, the whole report, all the details. Link to source proof in the description of this video. Thanks for watching. Thanks for the support. Let's get into it. Well, Reddit user Mets fan forever, a former WWE backstage worker who still has ties to people in the organization, provided insight into the atmosphere backstage at Raw today at the Joe Lewis Arena in Detroit, Michigan, following last night's WWE TLC tables, ladders, chairs, and stairs. According to him, many people in the company are dissatisfied with how the show came off following the successful takeover our evolution, NXT that would be, uh, and are hopeful that this will lead to creative changes with WWE's main line product. While many knew it would be tough to top the NXT show, there are people who thought it could be pulled off, he wrote. There have been rumblings that some talent knew they couldn't top NXT, so in a silent protest in favor of Triple H, some superstars were described mailing in their matches last night. Many are in favor of Triple H and what he has done with the NXT product and feel it is time for Triple H to take the lead on the, on the main roster. Mets fan forever added that locker room leader John Cena hosted a talent meeting this afternoon that was described as forceful yet calm. Cena stressed that a silent protest will not help matters. Instead, Cena feels they should step up their performance in order to, to in order for their points to be proven. According to um, yeah, pretty much that Reddit user Mets fan forever or Wrestling Inc. Um, well, yeah, there you have it, there's just back, there was a backstage follow from WTLC, that pay-per-view, the p people are unhappy, and there is actually a meeting, backstage, and my thoughts, my opinions, my views, my comments, my everything on this, on this whole thing, is that, you know, I mean, I don't know, I have my opinions, everyone has their own opinions, everyone has their stuff to say about the WB, we all know WB is not as good as it used to be. Okay, and we got less than we got raw in less than an hour. So go live on the USA Network. So that was just major WB creative creative changes. Um. So yeah. Uh, for Raw, W Backstage News, I've not seen any major news on Raw tonight, so, yeah, I do all W News, all the discussions and speculation, but yeah, I mean, it was kind of tough, I would say, I'm hoping there are going to be creative changes, I'm hoping maybe Charlie H, yeah, will take over, and Vince McMahon, I think he's getting too old, I think it's time to step down, I'm sorry Vince, I'm not going to kiss your butt and say you should stay, but, you know, I don't run WWE, I don't work with them, obviously, I don't run anything, so, uh, I mean, whatever they do, we'll see what happens. Hopefully they can follow this up, at least with a decent, pretty good route tonight, I'm hoping. Because Chris Jericho will be there, he's running the show. Brock Lesnar is going to be there, we'll advertise um, a lot of people. So, it would be, it's, gonna, it's tough to top the show, you can tell it was, but I thought it was decent. I thought it was pretty good, I mean, 8 out of 10 stars for me. I mean, that's like an 80%. That's, a, that's like a C. Uh, I mean, yeah, Triple H runs stuff better in WWE. It's proven. And now John Cena, I mean, eh. WWE just has to get their game on. They have to get together. They need to freaking pull out the best matches because they need to start delivering. They can't just be with a lazy product and do that, do that, do this crap, and do that. They got to pull it together. Let's go, WWE. Come on. I mean, it's like predictable. It's like, it's not just like, prove me wrong. Do something. Do something too amazing to m maybe you want to tune in next week. Do something to make me want to watch. Make me order the pay-per-view. Do this. They need to do better matches, more segments, better mic work, better time with the matches, better everything. This is just not a control. Let's go. 
gonna take a tire. I might just shut up. That would be. I mean, I got Bears game and a Bulls game tonight with Ra. Did I even watch Ra? Should I even be a WWE fan anymore? Should I even? Should I not subscribe to the WWE or should I just quit wrestling like I did in 2011? And I came back to it last year, about a year and a half ago. So I don't know. We need to get this something. We they just need to get better shows. Need someone's got. We have creative changes. Rod needs to get better. Smackdown, everything is. I'm done here. Like the video, share this video all over the uh, the entire internet on Facebook, Twitter, Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. Subscribe. And I do all WWE news, headlines, rumors, drafts, and speculations. Thanks for the support. Thanks for watching. I gave you the full backstage details right here at New Max Two Four One One YouTube channel. Like the video, share the video all over the entire internet on Facebook, Tout, and Twitter. Comment with your thoughts and your opinions. This is all about interacting. I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think of this? Your views. I'm looking forward to it. Subscribe.